Hello, hello, friends. So recently, I've been messing around in the Minecraft 23W43A snapshot. I've been attempting to redesign several classic Minecraft redstone logic gates, starting with the XOR gate. So the way an XOR gate works is you have two inputs, A and B, and an output, C. If you provide power on input A, you'll get an output on C. If you provide another input on input B, it will negate the output C. If you provide no inputs, you'll get no output. And then if you only provide input on input B, you'll get an output on C. So as you can see, it is very similar to an OR gate, except if you have both inputs powered, you get no output. This is very useful in various circuitry. And you can see here, I have this simple design, but it can also be distilled down to these four or five blocks. As you can see, it's simply two observers facing into a block and a copper bulb. And any updates to the observers toggle the copper bulb. And you can take the output via a comparator. Just note, any updates done to the observers while you're building will toggle the state of the copper bulb and therefore the gate itself. This can be useful though, as it provides you the opportunity to negate the gate. So now you have an XNOR gate. You can also use uh, copper bulbs in a comparator to provide uh, a pulsed gate. So this kind of latches itself in the open position. But I will say, in this case, you need the comparator here. You can't just use the bulb itself because the bulbs actually update their model and provide a block update anytime they receive or stop receiving power, regardless of the state of the actual uh, copper bulb. So the comparators just uh, then read the state itself and provide that as uh, an update for the observer. This can be done vertically as well. It doesn't matter that they're not uh, providing power directly to the observer because the observer is just checking for the change of state of the actual comparator. And so this provides lots of flexibility in the way you build uh, future builds. Um, and as I said before, this is much smaller than any other design I've seen and so therefore provides a lot of opportunity for miniaturization in the future. So bye-bye for now.